All right, in this tutorial, we're gonna make a functioning Polaroid camera that has a little viewfinder. You can take pictures and throw them around, all that fun kind of stuff. So let's get started. Um, this is the functioning one. I have it underneath dynamic. This is just an empty object for sorting. And then I have my camera underneath there. So what I'm gonna do is make a new empty, and this is just for sorting purposes to keep things organized put this up here put it right there okay and i already made a folder down here for the tutorial i have my challenges all in here um, when you're done you'll have your scripts a prefab of your photograph to spawn in uh, black material and so i need to use these scripts it's going to yell at me if i import the scripts again because you can't have two of the same script so i'm just just know that you should download the scripts from the Unity Learn website, the Create with VR course um, in the Polaroid Challenge in Unit 3. Um, so that's where the scripts will go. Um, so let's build the camera first. Um, I'm literally just going to search for camera down. Oops, not there. If I search in assets camera when you click on it you definitely want to make sure you're getting the camera prefab which I do so I'm just gonna throw one right there and my materials are always really wonky so I need to fix that let's move it to stay organized um, the camera itself uh, the material main for some reason it doesn't pick up all the time for me I'm not sure why uh, there we go material main mat that looks pretty good so we'll take that and um, on the rigid body, whoops, on the parent, yeah, on the parent, I want to put the rigid body, and we're going to make that gravity, yes, collision, continuous, speculative. We also want to be able to grab that, so we're going to use the old grab interactable script. Um, all right, now we need to get that Polaroid script on there. So I'm grabbing it from my other folder, but it doesn't matter. Drag this in here. We're going to be providing this photo prefab. We'll build that next. Um, the screen render, uh, and then also where the photos actually spawn at. Um, but one last thing we want to do here is add a script for, there it is, play quick sound. That'll make that cool little Polaroid noise when you hit the trigger. So there we go. So now we have the ability to do that. Save our work. Pause. And now we need to make our photograph prefab. So in our assets, there's already a photograph that's kind of partially built at least. So there it is, camera photograph prefab. I'm just going to throw this out here, um, put it into, we're going to end up deleting it anyways, but um, we're going to make a prefab out of it, of course, before we delete it out of the scene. Um, and let's go ahead and just drag this into my tutorial folder to make a prefab out of it. And then let's edit that prefab. So we have the camera, which is going to have the photo script that we imported. Uh, also going to be continuous speculative. Um, the film itself is currently the wrong thing. We just need it to be plain old. Oops, sorry. This one. If I just do a black. There we go. Now it looks more like a Polaroid. Um, now it already has this apply physics script, which is going to be good because when it prints it, it shouldn't use gravity. It should be kinematic. But then when you pick it up, it's going to enable that gravity. So we're going to actually use the uh, grab interactable events to turn the physics on and off using that script. We'll get to that later. Um, the photo script is currently using uh, no image renderer, um, but what I need on that is the film here. That way it has a place to put the picture. Um, and also a box collider. Now this is going to be kind of a very tiny box. Currently it's huge. <laughs> we don't want that. So here's the numbers that I'm using. Um, 
let's do uh I'm just cheating off of another thing. Four two seven point point triple zero six point double oh three zero which doesn't matter. Um and then the size we're gonna make point oh eight three three point zero zero one point oops point zero nine two nine and looky there there is our if I move it oops yeah if you move that around it's it's a little tiny square you can barely see it whoa it is way out of the way point oh two to negative point of two, just made that a zero. There we go. All right, moving on. Now we're gonna make this film use a, an actual plane instead of the photographic film, you know, like a 2D plane. However, the default plane is absolutely huge and we're gonna make it a little above the photo. So again, I'm just cheating from some other values that I used, 0. 0.0007 up, negative point. 0035 and those are the same but the plane needs shrunk considerably 00728 and we'll just copy paste paste there let's see what we got now oh it looks nice see it's just sitting in there just above the rest of everything and i think that's good for now we now have a prefab for the photograph great now back in the main scene in the polaroid 2 here's my camera of course the new one um, on here we're going to create an empty to be the i call it the viewfinder camera just to be very explicit on what this is but basically the thing that's going to show what you're looking at on this little screen right here and so this we just need to add a camera script to um, and earlier I had to mess with the priorities because otherwise my headset camera would jump to it um, but let's leave it alone for now and see if it becomes a problem but um, so that's a good start and these camera settings are really wonky see how large this viewfinder is so what I found was if I click over here on this mirror there's glass and there's a camera it works pretty good if I just uh, copy that, go back over here, go to my camera, viewfinder camera. I'm going to take this one off and I'm going to hit the three dots and paste as new. There we go. Not too shabby. Now I'm just going to place it so it's basically on that little viewfinder thing and make sure you go forward far enough that uh, you're not stuck in the middle of the camera. So here we're looking at the base of the other camera. There we go. Something like that. Okay. Now we've got a viewfinder. Now for the camera screen, if we go back around this way, we're looking at this thing here. Um, instead of using the actual camera screen mesh, once again, we're just going to use a plane and just scale it down. Nice flat surface. Um, and these are values you can steal too. For 6.0873. 0 negative 0 0.0332. Needs a little rotation. That looks better. And now I'll shrink it. And paste and paste. Whoa. There. We'll just put it right there. How about that? And set our material main. Let's just use straight black. Good. And let's see where we're at so far. Let's play it. Okay, I can pick it up. Good. Now we need to assign those things as the actual um, uh, variables in the script here. So the photo prefab we have here. And again, this is on the main camera here. We have all these things on the Polaroid script. Uh, the screen renderer, uh, that's going to be the camera screen. 
And the spawn location I have not made yet. So let's make one real quick. Um, spawn location. And you'll just have to kind of play around with this a little bit. I think I want this to be a little forward. Um, maybe not that far, we'll see. Um, and now under camera, to actually make it do something, uh, we're gonna use our XR grab interactable. Let me collapse some of these things. I got way too many things open. So in the XR grab interactable, we have our interactable events. So make sure you twirl that open. And then down here, we're looking for on select enter, select entered, here we go. So when you, basically when you pick it up, uh, it should turn on. So where does that come from? Well, on here, there is a, oh, sorry, drag this in there. There we go. Um, there is a Polaroid turn on, and then on select exit, the script that is, oops, the script that is on here, Polaroid turn off, and then activate, which is the trigger. We're going to, from the script that's on here, we're going to do a couple of things. One is going to be Polaroid take a photo. Uh, there it is take a photo and then we can actually do a second one because remember we did that play quick sound uh, so also under Polaroid uh, no, I'm sorry play quick sound play it'll play that audio clip that we gave it earlier let's save that and look in here real quick in the prefab here yeah we supplied everything there okay so let's play it again now Okay, pick that up. Hey, our viewfinder is looking pretty good, although it looks like it's looking behind something. Um, and my trigger does not activate anything, whereas on this one, it does. <laughs> so clearly we're missing something. Let's check it out. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> on my camera, I forgot to... I made a spawn location, I just did not assign it. Let's try that again. I'm on the quest here, connected with the link cable. Hey, good. And it kind of floats there. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to do something about that. Not good. Um, so I would say we move that spawn location back a little bit. And then we also have to do some things with uh, turning the physics on, physics on and off. So our spawn location definitely needs move back. Uh, we'll check that out in a little bit. So if I go into my camera, I'm sorry, my photograph prefab, there is the XR grab interactable. Twirl open your interactable events and select exited. So in other words, when you drop it, it should blank. Well, when we first make it or spawn it, it's kinematic and no gravity. And um, where's that at? Apply physics. I'll show you what it's doing here. Um, there's two functions in here that we can call enable physics, which will turn gravity on, kinematic off, and disable gravity off, kinematic on. So back in the photograph uh, prefab on our select exit, we're going to want from the apply physics, which is here, you drag that into that. And I need to call on the uh, where is it? There it is. Apply physics. Uh, enable physics. There we go. So now, hopefully, when we save that, after we pick up and then drop the photograph, it should. Good. So let's pick it up. And good. It works. Except our camera is still completely the wrong spot. So let's fix that real quick. Um, I think that's just the viewfinder spot it just needs moved up a little bit. There we go. Let's play it again. And we might be pretty close to done. It is playing the sound. I don't know if you can hear it, but um, the spawn location needs adjusted a little bit. But hey, it does work though. 
So last thing would just be slide that little spawn location back a little bit and we are done. Ta-da! Good luck.